once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to add image to your website background using css okay in addition to your html so this is what we're going to do we are going to add image to our website background it's just a simple trick now this is what we're going to do i'm actually going to take you through the entire process and first of all i have two images i'm going to use for my demonstration so i'm going to use this and then the x logo so these are the two images i'm going to use so i'm going to actually clear this and then also clear my css file and then i'll walk you through everything so now these are the two files i'm going to use if i save and then reload my browser they should if i reload my browser there's nothing at the moment so now we're going to start first of all let's generate our html and I'm actually going to just give a title as background image. Okay, so this is the title of my website and I'm going to create a class called container. Okay. And within this container, I'm actually not going to add anything. I'm going to link my CSS mm -hmm. within the heading. So I'm going to link my CSS here. Okay, so I've linked my CSS in the header here, right away. Let's go ahead and start creating or adding our image to the background. Now we're going to target this container. We're going to target this container and then add the image into this background. So I'm going to say dot container. Remember, this is a class, so it's going to be dot container. And then we'll go ahead and then just give a width, give a width of 100%. I want it to take the entire page, so give a width of 100%. We we'll also go ahead and then give a height. I'm going to give a height of 100 viewpoints and then we'll go ahead and then add our image i'm going to use background image over here so add the background image and use the url which is going to define the source our image is within this folder as you can see we have our image within this folder so we first need to target the folder that's the image folder and then we're going to first use the bg that's the background image now if i save this and i go back to reload this within my browser You can see I have my image at the moment, but it's very large and I want this image to actually fit onto my web page. So in order to do this, we're going to add two new properties. We're going to say background. We're going to use the background position. So we're going to say the position should be at the center and also background size. So the background size, we're going to use uh, cover. So we're going to say cover. So we're going to use cover. So now if I go ahead and reload this, reload my, if I go ahead and reload this in my browser, if I go ahead and reload this in my browser, you can see at the moment I have my image fit onto my web page, but we still have some spaces around this. You can see if I drag this, I have some white space around this, and then we need to actually go ahead and fix this. So in order to do this, I'll go to the top, and select everything by using the asterisk and then set my margin or set my margin to zero padding also to zero and box sizing to border box so once i go ahead and do this and reload this page can see the white space are, I have around this image is no more. So this is able to fit perfectly onto my web page. And that is exactly what I want. What about if you use image that is not big enough to cover the entire web page? What is going to happen? Now we're going to change this. We're just going to change this. And I'm going to comment this out. I'm going to comment this out and then add another image. So let me say background image. And this time around, I'm going to use a different image. So I'm going to use the S logo and let's reload this, save this and then go back and reload this. You can see, even though the image is not big enough, it went ahead to cover and we still have some white spaces around this image. Now we can actually go ahead and remove this, remove the cover and then the sizing. And then when I save this again, let's see what is going to happen. It's going to repeat this image because it's not big enough. It's going to repeat this image until it covers the entire web page. But this is called repeat. By default, the image is going to be repeat. So background repeat is called to repeat. But we can say no repeat. And then it's going to just 
add these images once. So if you want to just remove the duplicates, stop this from mm -hmm. repeating, all we can do is to say background. So we're going to say background repeat, and we're going to set it to what? No repeat. So we're going to set it to no repeat, save this, go back and then reload this. You can see now we have it appearing just once. By default, it's repeat. So if you set it to no repeat, it's not going to repeat this image. You're going to cover it just once. What about if you wanted to? What about if you wanted to cover just the x axis? What are we going to do? So we can actually go ahead and say repeat x or repeat y. So just say repeat, and we have repeat x. If you set repeat x, it's actually going to repeat just the x axis. So I'll go ahead and end reload this and you can see it's going to repeat just the x axis okay it's going to repeat the x axis and if you want to do that for the y axis and then we can just go ahead and say just y this way it's going to repeat just the x axis of this image and you can see it's going to repeat the vertical axis and basically this is not all about images there's still a lot we can do with images we can include background attachment and others but we can cover all in this video but like subscribe for more video tutorials and more